For 27 years, Off Main Deli and Bakery took up this space in the Heights, but was recently forced to relocate. This is just one of the more recent Heights restaurant closures, leaving residents without many options for dining. Traffic on Main Street is constantly moving. And noise. In the Billings Heights, there are more than 33,000 residents, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. One third of the city lives out here. But recently, those residents have been losing dining options left and right. Small businesses are challenged. The thing about Main Street is it doesn't look like like anywhere USA. I mean, most of the businesses are locally owned and operated. The Stadium Club, Okinawa Sushi, and Hardee's all closed this year. For lease or for sale signs are everywhere you look. That's all in addition to Off Main Deli, a staple for almost three decades. It's been in business for 27 years now. The Heights Deli is no longer on Main Street, but it didn't permanently close. It simply moved locations and can now be found way off of Main on North 27th Street. I love the location. I love the actual building. Yeah. It's super cute in here. But the decision to relocate wasn't up to the owner, Desiree Contreras Sutton. We would still be in the Heights if, if we could be. I'm happy to be where we're at, but it wasn't our choice to move. Back in the Heights, Pam Ellis, the secretary of the Heights Task Force, notes the Billings Bypass Project is about to make the area ever more popular. As they finish the Johnson Road, Road Bridge and the extension, that will open up a huge area for development. So it's really critical that people participate in the development of the neighborhood plan. As for the lack of options, Ellis urges Heights residents to provide input at the task force's monthly meeting. Obviously, people would like to see more restaurant options. Some of the some of the sit down restaurants are really packed. Ultimately, really, the business owners are, are smarter than we are. I mean, they they can see the traffic. They know the quantity. So I think businesses where they see a marketing opportunity will come back. In Billings, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.